What's the Future Gamer here, and welcome back to this playthrough of Pokemon Violet. So, guess what I caught? I finally caught my water type Tauros. Hooves! My water type Teratauros. Currently got a Power Bracer on to boost that attack stat. So, that Tauros is going to hit like a frigging train! Oh, so yeah, as you can see, my team leveled up quite a lot while I was hunting for it. So, today, we are going to stand up. We are going to uh, head for the, uh, whatchamacallit. Let me find it on the map. We're going to head for the Poison Crew Base. Ooh, some Harry Armour around here. That could be... I've been leveling up off screen anyway, I mean... Uh... Yeah, Hooves has... Uh... We've been EV training on uh, a Gyarados outbreak. We've got the anger point ability, which is quite nice. So if we get crit, we are gonna we're gonna really rock and roll. Kill them all! Especially that Harry Armour. Especially that... <laughs> this is... While I am recording this, my uh, challenge where I took on Emerald with Machop and Makahita is currently uploading to YouTube. It might actually have uh, gone up by now, but... Taking out that Harry Armour is considerable revenge for all the uh, stress that Machop gave me. That attack stat, though. it. Get that meow. This might well end up being... Well, I say this might end up being my final team. Possibly not, actually, because... I don't want to use the pseudo from this game. Let's head off to... Yeah. Let's head off, because I think we've done enough uh, there. If you're wondering why my webcam looks like it might be a bit different, it's because it wouldn't activate, so I had to uh, reset it up. I 
I'm trying to remember what level Shellgon evolves into Salamance. I think it might be level 50 now that I think on. Poison Crew. So, we'll put Clog. Um, I feel like this might be the best option for going into the. Uh, ooh. Heal up, I guess. Heal me! Head in there then. Is this going to be Clive? <laughs> Hi, Clive. Oh, EFG. Hey there, Clive. Glad to see you've got my name committed to memory. Now, let's pick up our conversation from where we left off before. As I mentioned, I joined Operation Starfall to resolve a tricky, a sticky situation and to find out the reasons behind Team Star's odd behaviour. Above all, I want to know why the students in Team Star have stopped going to school. And just like Cassiopeia, I want the team to disband for good. Since joining Operation Starfall with you, I've already had some success in opening up a dialogue with Team Star and I think I've started to understand things more clearly. But I don't have enough information just yet. That's why I want to speak with students from Team Star's other squads as well. If you intend to take on another base, know that you can count on me for backup. Till then, see you around, OFG. This seems like, to be honest with you, we're at that point where we are that level that we're probably just going to tear through very quickly. Do me a favour and go home already, will ya? No, I want to see the boss of the Navi squad. Take me to Don Atticus. Like I said, kid, the boss told me not to let any outsiders pass these gates. That includes you. I don't care. I'm not leaving till you let me talk to Don Atticus. Give me a little break, you doofus. The people over there seem to be arguing about something. What do you want to do? <laughs> Hello there. Huh? Oh great, here comes another rando to ruin my day. I didn't think grunt work for Team Star Newbies would be this much of a chore. Hold on Mr. Grunt, I think this boy might be OAFG. Wait, OAFG? That kid who picked a fight with Team Star? Yeep, prepare to be raided. I knew it! Oh boy, this ain't good. Everyone else is the base is still asleep since we were up all night last night playing video games. Leave it to me, Mr. Grunt. I'll buy some time for you to go wake up the others. Yeah? What's in it for you? Don Atticus will be in danger if no, one is, no one's here to defend the base. 
Hail that man my life, he's my dear compadre. And when crisis calls, one has no choice but to rally th to those dear to him, no matter the cost. Yeah, I have no idea what you're on about, kid, but thanks to the big assist. Alright, you villain. If you're after Don Atticus, prepare to face my wrath. Bring it on! Yeah! Do you really think you can win? Yusuf. I'm terrified. is normal poison, isn't it? Yeah, might as well send Shell on him, we can Zen headbutt it down. <laughs> Crunch. Oh yeah. We did it. I talk big, but I'm no warrior. No, you are not. You are very much not indeed. Don Atticus, I'm sorry I failed you. Oh, AFG, are you alright? I was standing watch when I heard a ruckus all of a sudden. I got worried that maybe something had happened to you over here. Ah, no fair, you had backup this whole time. Is this boy one of the Academy's students? He doesn't look like he's from Team Star. You're right. I'm not a member of Team Star, but Don Atticus is my compadre. I have to see him no matter what. Well, clearly, you have your reasons for being here. OEFG, I'd like to ask this boy some questions. You go ahead and get started on the base. Might I borrow you for a chat? My, aha, uh -huh, my man. Don't worry. I won't bite. Ratatatatatatat. Nice work dealing with the guard. We're in that base lies Team Star's poison crew, the Navi Squad. The Navi Squad, their boss, Atticus, designs the outfits for the team. You could say he has clever hands. The guy's also a bit of an eccentric. You can never tell what he's going to do next. So, since it's beyond us to predict how he'll respond to our declaration of war, just take out as many of the squad's Pokemon as you can until Atticus shows his face. Ring the bell on the gates once you're ready to kick off this phase of the operation. Time to wipe the Navi squad off the map. Let's do it. Yep. Well, I've not brought uh, Muffin for a reason. Seems the folks behind Operation Star Fool are finally making a move against our base. You know what that means, gang? Time for us to shine bright and avenge our teammates. And hey, little intruder, just so you know, if you've got the skills to defeat 30 of our Pokemon in 10 minutes, our boss might deem you worthy to meet in person. Bring it on. We're nearly halfway there. Well, 
Well, they're probably in Whoopers. Is that my clock, Sire? We did it. They're not in Team Tech 2 minutes, but Lex, he's way above our level. We've got to get the boss. Bring him. Bring him to me. I'm very much not intimidated right now. What? I can't decide if that's a cool costume or not. I'm leaning more towards... Pray forgive my sudden entry. It is I, Atticus. You're that scoundrel OFG, I take it. You have some nerve bearing your fangs at Team Star. Come then, villainous wretch. A plunge into grim poison shall be your well-deserved fate. On guard! Bring it. Bring it, Atticus. It's cool design, I'll give him that. There's Skunk Tank. Skunk Tank only has one weakness. It's a damn shame that for him... Not but punishment awaits the wretch a plague on your house! Earthquake it. We tanked that quite well. Certain moves can poison with a mere graze. Tremble, scoundrel. Rip up a room. Oh, no. Earthquake it again. This is going to hurt! That, yeah, that's four times super effective, so that's going to really hurt. Mark! We're going to outspeed this, surely. That's not good. It's gonna miss. Crap. Try one more time. Nice one, Slimy. Poison? Fear! I will fight on to the bitter end! Might as well just try it. I'm not sure what that was supposed to achieve. That's definitely worrying, you know. Come on, we just need to hit this earthquake and then we... Yep, we're done. We win.
about a year and a half ago. Forgive me, it took a goodly time to procure the required materials. Whoa, sick, these boots are insane. Yeah, Mela does have great boots. Ah, yes. The move Flame Charge was my muse for those particular pieces. This outfit is everything I imagined it would be. Thank you so much. I merely wish to create a costume worthy of the great infernal area. If it aligns with your vision, then I am content. Seems our outfit upgrades are all wrapped up then. Thanks a turn, Atticus. With you two looking like absolute beasts. Anyone who crosses us will be sweating bullets. You're so good at these sort of ta You're so good at these sorts of crafty things, Atticus. Those people bullying you because you geek out over old fashioned stuff are out of their minds. The way of the ninja is rough and fraught with thorns. I neither expect nor desire symphony from the unrefined rabble. Ooh, someone's getting fired up. Watch out, world, our Atticus has fighting words. Yeah, don't listen to the haters, Atticus. I think you're really cool. Alright, gang, let's move to the next step. It's time to put our backs into battle training, so we're all prepped for Operation Star. we got to be stronger than everyone else in the team. That's what being a boss means. Indeed it does. Henceforth, I will devote myself, heart and soul, to honing my battle skills. For the sake of the team, I would give my very heart and soul, but I cannot defy the rules. Our code must be obeyed. So this badge is mine to keep no more. I entrust it to thy care. <laughs> Take this contraption too. It contains a technique that allows one to cover their Posing gunk! Ooh, gunk shots. OMG, as thy name is it not? You have utterly bested me, but thy victory stirred no bitterness within me. Such was its brilliance! Don Ericus, my, my compadre! It seems this little fella has been dying to speak with you face to face. Don Ericus, Please hear what I have to say. I only need a moment. What's ever brought you all the way here? I came to help you. If you don't start going to class again, you'll be expelled from the academy, right? When the other teams that sat out of school and I were getting bullied real bad, you and the rest of Team Star saved us. Thanks to that operation you carried out, we were all able to go to school again. If you got expelled for being the good guys, that'd be the worst thing ever. Forgive me! Haven't you heard anything from the big boss? Nay, we've not heard a whisper since that fateful day. Without the big boss, Team Star cannot carry on. And without the team, the bright and merry student life we seek lies beyond our reach. We've no choice but to defend our bases till the big boss returns to us. You evidently trust this big boss of yours a great deal. Who exactly are they? In truth, not one of us has met them in the flesh. By their wound, they are a recluse. As with the rest of us, to seem bullying was to blame. That's awful. Though their name and face be unknown to us, they are nonetheless our precious comrade. Our only choice is to maintain our vigils from the basis, awaiting the day of their return. So that's why you don't go to school. But but still, don't you ever think that Team Star is all you have done, Atticus? You've got a lifelong compadre in me, and don't you forget it. My compadre! I owe you a great debt! It seems we're one step closer to, closer to the truth behind Team Star's truancy and the bullying at the academy. But more importantly, I can't believe I had no idea about these issues the students are struggling with. They have friendships they hold dear, and reasons for acting as they do. I just couldn't see it. It's shameful how oblivious I've been. Ha! Huh. I believe Team Star to be the one and only treasure in my life. Methinks I may have been mistaken. I really hope I never have to do that voice again.
Go, 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 go. Oh, AFG, it's me. Atticus's star badge is now yours, then. I see. Now that its boss has been taken down, the Navi Squad's days are numbered. Now, Atticus 2. Sorry, I've got a lot on my mind right now. So, Operation Starfall. You've taken down all but two bases, so it's fair to say it's going well. This seems like a good time to let you know what we're ultimately aiming to achieve. Our final goal is to defeat the mastermind that first recruited the five squad bosses and created Team Star. The one they call the Big Boss. Who is this Big Boss? Who knows? They control the five squad bosses from the shadows. That's all anyone can say. If we, de if we defeat this person and get them to declare the team disbanded, that'll be it for Team Star. Since the big boss never set up their own base and keeps their identity hidden, I take it they're not one for the spotlight. But once all the squad bosses are out of action, the big boss will finally have to take the stage. Now about your reward, I'll transfer some LP over to your phone as promised. Have your Pokemon learn strong moves so that they continue to be of use to the operation. My supply unit rep should be with you soon. Hey, hey there, OJ. That uh, sounded like a pretty serious phone call. Ugh! I wasn't talking to you! So that mastermind you were talking about, Cassiopeia has mentioned them to me too. Team Star's founder, the person who's caught all kinds of misery at the academy. If we don't take them down, I'll lose what I treasure most in the world. What do you mean? Ah, no, I just... Um, that's right, you need your reward. Here, take it before I forget. Alright, well, I'll be off then. Oh, an OFG? Don't lose to those guys. No intention of it. Venonat here. Oh, the Hmm.
Ooh, Persimian. Should I try and catch one? Aquajetic! Didn't do a lot. Ah! Oh, you shouldn't have done that! Should not have done that. Now you made you made hubs angry. Now we get up into the mountains, if I'm honest. You wouldn't happen to know the address for the Team Stars Poison Crew base, would you? Now, why would you want to know that, pal? Paul the Courier. Pelipere. Not a good matchup. Let's headbutt it and see what happens. This is going to hurt! No, not as bad as I thought it would, to be honest. I misread the map and I misread the course of that battle. Just for a moment there, I thought... Um, I think we're going to evolve. No one fights here, that's why it's such a nice place. Better than school, better than with Team Star, better than home. Ooh, Avalanche, eh? Oh, it's a... Fungus. Headbutt, I guess. Ooh, that's gonna... Oh, crap! Too fussed for fighting it.
Big mushroom. Gotta study hard, gotta study hard. What's that? Oh, it's not one of these things again. Oh, it's a, it's a Zorua. Double kick it, I guess. Fake tears all you want. It won't save you. Down it goes. Pokemon do you think I'll use? Don't know, don't care. Did you talk to me because you thought I'd use Dragon type Pokemon? Not at all. Martyr the Dragon Tamer. I like the costume. That's very cool. Appleton. Ooh, what have I got that can... I'm being very careful here because I know that's part grass type and I don't really want to get... Uh, Smashed with a uh, grass type attack again. That's not good. I have to switch out at the end of this fight. Dragon Claw it. Oh, you prick! Strangler. This is not going to save you. Did not save you. I was right. You were right, it's dragons all the way. Where's the nearest rest stop? We'll head over there. Right, we will heal up and we will call it a sesh. Heal me! Have we got anything good in the TM machine?
I'm not too. But yeah, we'll call it here. So, as always, I hope you have enjoyed. If you have, you know what to do. Like, comment, and subscribe. Help the channel grow. Down the description of the videos, links to my YouTube playlist, my Twitter, Discord, Patreon. So, until next time, this has been Once and Future Gamer playing Pokemon Violet. Take care now. Have a great day and see you next time. Bye bye now. So long.